how y'all doing? Um, okay, so tonight I'm coming at you with a comparison video between the uh, Louis Vuitton Monsteri MM and the Prada Vela Backpack. And um, I wanted to take advantage of, you know, that I have my lashes on because it's not every day that I wear my lashes. So, okay, so first I'm going to go over the, um, the Louis Vuitton Monsteri MM. So if you don't already know the measurements, it is nine and a half inches wide by ten and a half inches tall and almost five inches deep. And as compared to the GM, it does not have nylon straps. It has leather straps. But everything else about it looks pretty much the same. It has the leather bottom. Um, it has the little brass, you know, uh, ring right here. It has the pocket in the front, and of course the uh, buckle. And then everything else is the same. Actually, yeah. Well, and on the inside, instead of having a, uh, oh yeah, it does have a zip pocket, or not a zip pocket, but it has a, a slip pocket on the inside. Okay, and it's, actually it's not that big. The pocket on the inside would be similar to like the Speedy. You know the little pocket inside the Speedy bags? It would be like about that big. And there is a D-ring, which is nice. Okay, so let me just show you what fits in it just to give you an idea. Okay, so I have my Truce 23 bag and this thing will fit in okay I'm putting it in like this okay so it'll oh my gosh I'm kind of struggling to get it in here oh wait there you go okay barely okay if you can see in here it's like pushing the bag out pushing the backpack out if you can tell so probably if I were going to carry this you'd have to put it in up and down like that which would be fine um, although it is kind of tall so it would it kind of barely clears the top see how, how it barely clears the top so this might, I just, I wanted to just use this for demonstration purposes just to show you if you have this bag or if you don't, go to my channel and find my videos so you can see the measurements and that would give you an idea like about, I mean the most 3 mm to me is pretty compact compared to the GM. This will fit, both sizes of the truce bag will fit, actually all three sizes of the truce bag will fit in the GM. Not going to be the case for the MM. So I'm not going to use it right now, I'm just going to use some other stuff. Okay, so just a little zipper pouch it in there and okay so I have a pin case and this is just like a little four by six uh, zipper pouch here and everything else is actually in my Prada backpack so I don't have everything handy okay oh well okay so and what I really like about this which I've said in my monstery GM video is that I love the outside zipper pocket and um, this one is smaller than the one on the GM so I don't even know that it would fit my phone actually it probably would fit my phone I have an iPhone 5 and I don't have one handy um, but I'm pretty sure that it would at least fit an iPhone 5 if you have anything bigger than that it's not going to fit on the outside pocket I can tell you right now it's too small but it would fit a pack of gum it would fit you know um, your keys just anything you need to get to quickly um, and then again your phone if it's a smaller phone but if it's I wish I had my iPhone 5 so I could... Oh, Gigi, hand me your... Where's your iPod? Gigi, where's your iPod? Huh? Let me see it. forgot she has... A, she uses my old um, iPhone 5C as an iPod. So, and she has that so I can see if it'll fit so I can show you. Hurry, baby, please, run. No, no, come in. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this is an iPhone 5C. And yes, that is exactly as big as an iPhone 5C. So that would fit in here. iPhone 5, and I have a 5, so it's just the same. 5S, I think, so it's the same. But anything bigger than this, I ain't gonna fit. Okay, so, um, drawstring closure, as you know. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a mod shot, sorry. Where is the, oh crap, I'm, it's coming undone. Okay, I'm kind of a hot mess with this. I'm just gonna go with it and just tie it right here where it is. Oh, dang it. Okay, so one of the things that I've said, okay, I am not having luck with this because I'm in a rush and so this is not working. So I'm going to have to take a second and loop it so it'll actually sh uh, be shut. One of the things that I said in my Mossery GM video is that the backpacks, in my opinion, these backpacks are kind of a pain to get in and out of. Um, because you have to jack with this drawstring, as I'm doing right now. You can see what a pain this is, right? And you have to buckle it. So, I mean, if you're wanting to get into it quickly, then you're going to have to buckle it, and that's going to be a pain. But if you leave it like this, then it looks stupid, right? So, 
just for mod shot, I'm going to go ahead and buckle it because it looks ugly without it buckled. Okay, there. So this is Mossery MM. So it looks really cute if you just want to sling it um, over your shoulder. Okay. And uh, which is really cute. So if you're carrying it like this, then yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. You can get to it like this. You can get into the front pocket. You could jack with the buckle and open it up and you could get whatever you need to. But if you're wearing it as a backpack, um, everything is secure, you know. So this is how it looks. Again, this is a compact size. And I, you know, I think it'd be really cute. I don't really like small, I mean, small bags like for daily carry. So to me, this would be like a really cute bag for like, um, like a teenager or some, you know, a younger girl because it's not that big, not for school, but just like, you know, this is really cute. It's a good size for that. Or if you do like smaller bags, you know, whatever, that's fine too. Okay, so there you go. You already can see not that many items will fit in it, but it is decent size. Honestly, the measurements kind of remind me a little bit of the um, Petite Noe. The Petite Noe is like 10 by 10 by eight. So obviously it's super deep. So there's a lot more room, you know, this way, but the, but the width of it, and the top, the height of it is very similar to the Petite Noe. So there you go. Okay, the Vela backpack by Prada. Okay, when I think of nylon, I think of a gym bag, okay? And this is nylon, but it's not that gym bag kind of nylon. It's actually parachute nylon, which I know you're kind of like, so, well, it, you can't see this. Actually, depending on how old you are, you may remember back in the day when we used to wear parachute pants. Okay, that's how they feel. They, they're just this different kind of texture, and you can just tell that it's just like a hardier type of nylon. It's not like the gym bag where it's real. If you do this to a, to a uh, gym bag, it sounds really super scratchy, like I have my OGO over there, but I'm not going to grab it because I've already wasted enough time. But this one, like, it doesn't make a lot of sound, you know, when you scratch it, like, like the really, like the gym bags. Um, okay, so you've got a carry right here. So if you needed to just carry it like this, hand carry, you could. Um, obviously, it has you know straps, and it is accented with leather, and so I I like that. So see, so you have some leather here, you have it here, you have it down here. All the buckles, it's got the uh, it's like a matte um, silver or nickel. It's got the it's nickel, I guess. The matte nickel hardware, and the buckles. Um, well, it's all leather around the buckles. And then the front, the buckle, um, the straps here are leather. And then it has the iconic triangle, Prada triangle right there. And um, of course these are adjustable, which I forgot to tell you on the Monster 3MM, the straps are adjustable as well. So, okay. But what I like about this, it has the two pockets on the front. Now, as far as the pain in the butt factor, it kind of is, exists here too, because you have to buckle the straps. But what I like about this, I actually used this today. I had a little field trip with the kids and I didn't want to take my, my um, tote bag, so I took this instead. And I liked it because I could just, you know, put it through the this part, but they all have uh, magnetic closures too. So I didn't have to just, you know, have it hanging off like it was on the, on the LV. Like I was able to at least secure it with the magnet. And so you don't have to sit around and mess with the buckle. So to me, this is a little more convenient. And it's actually quite stylish. Believe me, I would have never thought of getting this Prada backpack. But I read this story about it and the story behind the Prada backpack and how iconic it is and kind of like the, uh, the granddaughter's um, vision when she, when she designed it. And so I was really kind of interested in it. And so I got, I got it. And uh, I mean, it's not, this is not brand new. This is, a, this is a, a, vintage, a vintage bag. If you know anything about this backpack, it is a super iconic vintage bag. And um, anyway, so I got it and I like it. Like I said, it, the nylon is super, it's like luxury nylon. I know they don't call it luxury nylon, but that's what it's like. Okay, so anyway, you have the two pockets here and they're pretty generous, okay? So it'll fit, again, the iPhone 5C, fit in there all the way, it doesn't stick out. And then you can just, you've got the magnets right here, so you can put that in there. And so there's two of those, so you have that. So this is easy access for sure. You can put your keys, you know, uh, your phone, lip gloss, whatever in there and then of course you have the main compartment now um the drawstring I, this drawstring to me is like a lot fancier because it has this little stopper thing which i like i like messing with this better than messing with that stupid cord Ugh, those cords wear me out i like to just like this this is cool okay so on the inside and i have all my crap in here so let me get this out 
Okay. Okay. So the inside, it's not lined. Well, it kind of is. It's still that nylon material, but it's got Prada like all over it. Oh, let's see the signature. There you go. See it? And then you have the plate on the inside, and it has a nice, generous pocket on the back wall. Okay. And it's actually it's not that deep. It's deeper than the one in the Monsterie, but it's not it's not super big. But it's wider. It's definitely wider. And and it'll fit the iPhone 5C too. It'll probably fit like five of them. Yeah. See, it goes down in there. Oh yeah. Okay, so this actually is pretty generous compared to the other the other one. Okay, so that fits in there. And then um, there is no D-ring. I'm looking in here. No D-ring. And then you have the, um, the grommets, and they're all stamped with Prada on them. Let's see? Wait, let's see. Can you see that? Okay. And so, okay, it is pretty generous. The, oh, the measurements. I forgot to tell you the measurements on this one. Okay, so the measurements on this one, which are very similar to the Monstery MM, it's 11 inches wide by 10 and a half inches tall by five and a half inches deep. And so it's very similar to the Monster 3 MM, uh, but a little bit bigger. Okay, so, but, and it's also, this one obviously is a lot more slouchy. I mean, you can see it's more hobo-ish, you know, compared to the, the Louis Vuitton. It's, it's more structured. I mean, you know, you know what the canvas is like. This is definitely not flopping over. Even if it's empty, you know, it doesn't flop over. Okay, Okay. so let's see what we can fit in here, because you can fit quite a bit in here. Let me get that uh, Truce 23. Okay, so Truce 23, side to side. Yes, it'll fit in there. You can't see it, but it's in there. It fits in there just fine. It's not making the sides stick out anymore. It's fine. And then this is just a full-size wallet, checkbook wallet, or zip wallet. That fits. And... Okay, so I have some just tissue. You can put those in the back zipper pocket along with the iPhone 5C. that in there. Okay, what else do I have in here? Okay, just a little coin pouch. And I'm trying to, okay, I have another zip. Well, okay, the other zipper pouch I have is in the other backpack and it's gonna take too long. To mess with the cord so I'm not gonna get it okay so let's just pull this forward close this up okay and again you got the magnetic snap there and I'm not even gonna connect that you know like this this looks okay like totally fine without having to mess with it I'm just gonna loop it through here okay it's giving me a low battery okay I gotta hurry here you go so watch that Bella backpack Super cute, okay? And yeah, if you wanna just wear it, just sling it over your arm like this, you can. And I mean, over your shoulder like this, you can. It's really cute. So anyway, out of the two, for day-to-day -day carry, um, I mean, either one's fine. If you're going somewhere where you, you know, don't care if it's gonna get like messy and dirty, go with this one. The Prada is definitely the better one. But both of them are very similar in size, and they're both super classic, and so you're not gonna go wrong with either one of them. And so again, the Mosseri MM, the Velo Backpack by Prada. I hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to y'all again real soon. Okay, bye!